Now, the worrying number is out of Germany there. To break down the situation, I spoke with Didier Sornet, Chair of Entrepreneurial Risk at ETH Zurich. I began by asking him how the Eurozone's biggest economy got here. This is true that uh, it's a new development. Um, you know, Germany is very dependent on exports uh, worldwide and within Europe. Its GDP is essentially uh, counting on, you know, 28 percent of it is based on exports. So it's very sensitive, of course, to the general climate, the trade war between the U.S. and China. Uh, the Brexit situation, uh, the uh, instability uh, building in Italy. So indeed, uh, this cascades into the, the negative sentiment. You know, you talked about how important Germany's economy is on exports, really all of Europe. What will it mean if the Brits go ahead with a no deal in Brexit? What will that do to an already brittle economy in Germany? I think my own understanding is that, of course, there would be a short-term pain for everyone. But I think, the, um, unfortunately for Europe, they are underestimating the resilience of the UK uh, with the high flexibility of the, the job system, uh, the, the specific organization UK. I see that Europe may actually uh, fare less well than they expect, in particular because actually UK is a major uh, importer from all the goods, in particular from Germany. I think that something like uh, or close to 30 percent of the exports of, the, of, of Germany and, and Europe in general go to UK. So this will have, of course, uh, uh, headwind, uh, headwind consequences. And the problem is that, indeed, that there is a danger of a recession in Germany cascading to the rest of Europe. I see that less as a danger for the rest of the world. The U.S. have much better numbers, mm -hmm. so this may not spill over so much actually for to, to, to the U.S. It's a, it seems to be that the recession is not a worldwide problem. It's really a European problem. Uh, let's talk about the fact if indeed Germany does lose that lucrative uh, export market to the U.K. or if it's harmed to a degree. Germany's GDP is expected to fall again this quarter uh, with all tangible signs of an economic downturn. But surveys also show that consumer confidence is dropping. So it's really a one-two punch. What could that do to the economy? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always the problem, you know, in economics is the pro-cyclicality, we call it, or positive feedback is that you have, you know, bad numbers that add on them, on each other and they uh, increase each other. So that's one aspect of the equation. The other aspect is that we tend, unfortunately, to, I would say, overemphasize uh, tiny effects. Because you know we are speaking basically about change of GDP growth by plus or minus 0.3, 0.5%, which are often re-corrected mm -hmm. six months later in the upside or downside. I mean, there's an example in the UK in 2004 where the uh, expectation or the calculation was that the GDP was growing like uh, mad, like 5% a year. And then two years later, it was recalculated as being actually a negative. Why do you firstly think that there hasn't been any kind of economic stimulus coming from the government? I'm sure you talked about balancing the budget, but still. And also, we can't ignore the U.S.-China trade war that we alluded to earlier. Yes, what effect yes. is that having on German manufacturing? Yes, so uh, one uh, effect which we can see is uh, China is, of course, a big uh, importer for a big trade partner with Germany. And, uh, you know, I've been traveling a lot to China. I'm uh, launching an institute of research in, in Shenzhen uh, area. And what is striking to me when I discussed with my peers, colleagues, and uh, also, um, um, you know, startup developers and industry partners, is that this trade war may be, may be a miscalculation on the part of the U.S. because it forces and actually it uh, catalyzes and it uh, really um, even uh, triggers an enthusiasm on the Chinese part to become independent from all the technology uh, of the West. So that could be, um, you know, medium-term unintended consequence rather than hurting China. Maybe it's, they're hurting, we're hurting China a little bit on the short term, but on the medium term, they are getting, getting more and more independent of all the Western technology, German technology, U.S. technology, because the Chinese are not stupid. They know that if they have to reappropriate the technology like Huawei, for example, that uh, he's leaving the U.S. Uh, you know, I'm f speaking to you from Switzerland. I just learned that uh, Huawei is launching a big uh, research center in Switzerland, uh, recruiting uh, thousands of researchers and so on, because 
uh, of this uh, trade war. And uh, in the same way, the Chinese know that they may not have to be able to count on the German technology because of the dependence, uh, you know, political dependence of Germans to the U.S. So they are massively trying to be independent. And with their firepower, with their you know, education system, a high level of education and technology, uh, I fear, or I mean, depending on which side you are, uh, you can see that they are going to be able to develop high technology very fast.